everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, and Happy New Year! I can't believe it's 2019! Oh my gosh. I'm actually filming these a couple of weeks before the actual New Year, so that feels really strange to say it. But you are seeing this on New Year's Day, so Happy New Year! Um, here's to a wonderful 2019. Um, and to kick off 2019, I am here to share my Megan, or my first Megan Nielsen plans video. So I'm doing this little uh, capsule a little differently. Um, I'm going through her four newest patterns, which are the Jara, the Jara, I think it's Jara, the Jara, the Floriette, I could be pronouncing all these wrong, <laughs> the Dawn and the Waddle. Um, so the Dawn is a pant, the Waddle is um, a couple of skirts, uh, pant, it's a pant and shorts. The Waddle is a few skirts, the Floriette is a dress and top. And then the Jara is like a sweatshirt top. So the idea is to do um, a little plans video for each pattern separately because I'm going to do a whole bunch of versions of each one, both for myself and for my daughter, so you can see not only different fabrications um, with the different variations, but also on different body types. So my daughter and I are very, very similar, and you will see in coloring. Um, she definitely doesn't take after. My husband is dark, has light colored eyes, but dark skin, dark hair, um, as does my son. My son totally takes after his coloring. Now my daughter is very fair and pinky undertones just like I am, blonde hair. In fact, she's a little almost icier complexion than I am. I have maybe a little bit warmer complexion than even she does, um, but we can wear a lot of the same colors because we do have very similar um, complexions. So I let her go through some of my new fabric that came in. This is a sign of a good mother because I let her go through some of my fabric and I let her have first pick on two uh, tops because she said she needed some more tops. So I will go through what I'm going to be making for her. First, I want to pop a picture of the Jara. Again, it is a sweatshirt pattern and it comes with four variations. And you can mix and match all these. You can put that turtleneck top on all of them. You can leave the hem bands off all of them, do the high low hem, do the cropped hem, switch up the sleeves. You can really kind of mis mix and match all of these. But there are four variations that come with the pattern um, kind of as is. And I am going to make all four of those and maybe more. We'll talk about that in a minute though. We, know, we all know I cannot stick to, <laughs> to just a couple, to just four patterns. Anyway, without further ado, let's dig into this. I have a gigantic stack of fabric next to me. So we're going to start with the things that my daughter picked out. I have this beautiful pale pink. I don't know if you can tell if it's pale pink, but it is pale pink uh, sweater knit. It's, it's a cloud sweater knit, and I got this from Stone Mountain. Yes, this one came from Stone Mountain and Daughter um, in their Black Friday sale. A lot of these came from the Black Friday sales. Not all, but a lot of them did. <laughs> but it's a pale pink. It's not, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's kind of an icy pale pink. And um, this color actually looks better on my daughter than it even does on me. So um, she picked this one out and she wants me to make for her the, I think it's view D, um, which is the turtleneck cropped version with the split sleeve. It's the, just the regular sleeve that has the little split in the cuff. So I think this will be very interesting because this is very drapey and it's a lightweight sweater knit. So this is definitely a way that um, she's not going to wear it dressy. But if you were so inclined to make um, a wardrobe for like a business casual situation, this would definitely be a possibility. In fact, I'm kind of sad she picked this variation because actually the two variations she picked were the two that I was most excited about making for myself. But that's okay. I can make more. <laughs> um, but yes, so this is going to be a sweater for her. And um, again, it's a very lightweight knit. This is not sweatshirting at all, or even a heavyweight sweater knit. It's a very lightweight sweater knit, and I think that's gonna just really dress up um, the pattern. But again, she'll wear it with jeans. So it's one of those that you could easily wear with trousers to a work, or as a preteen to school with jeans. So yeah, just any kind of lightweight sweater situation. Okay, and next for her, this is not for her. Hold on, you did not see that. She picked this fabric. I got this one at Blackbird, also at the Black Friday sales. It is a, I just lost my mountain of fabric. It is a bamboo jersey. It has, this is actually, it looks red, but it's more of a coral. It's coral and then a charcoal gray stripe. And she would really like for me to make view B, which is, or view two. I can't remember how she does her views. Anyway, this is the one with the tie. So the waist tie. That was like the first one that Ava was like, yes, I love that waist tie. Um, and again, this is like a t-shirt weight bamboo jersey, so it is very lightweight. So this is not sweatshirting again at all. Um, but I thought it would tie nicely and she could wear it with jeans and stuff to school. 
Now this version does have a, a neckband and cuffs on it, and she would like both the neckband and cuffs. And I came across this from my Nikki cardigan. It goes like perfectly with that dark charcoal. This is that textured knit, and it has a lot, oh my gosh, I'm just dumping things all over the place. It has a lot of um, give in it, so it'll make a fantastic, I think, um, neckband and cuffs. And it has a little bit of texture, which I think will kind of be fun. So I am doing those two together for her. So those are the first two versions that I am making for my daughter. And again, neither of those are a sweatshirt knit, even at all. So, <laughs> so they, this is definitely going to show um, a big versatility. And honestly, by the time you're watching this, as I'm playing with these fabrics and been planning this out, I may have made almost all of the, no, not all of them. I do have to get ready for Christmas still. Um, but I may have made at least maybe one of these versions before you're even seeing this because I'm so excited about these patterns. Okay, moving on to me. For version one, because again, I wanted to show all the versions and I kind of fancy a little, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just like, have you ever seen the Muppets? You know, the chef on the Muppets where he's like, grunge, 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 and just like throwing food like everywhere. That's what I feel like right now. Okay, and yes, I just compared myself to a Muppet, but I got this, this is actual sweatshirting from Joann's. Oh, look, it's quilted. Can you tell? With little specks of darker charcoal in with the heathered gray. I love this. So in case you haven't picked up on it, this next little um, capsule and what's going on here? This next little capsule that I'm doing, um, so for the first three that I just finished up at the end of December, I was going with some navies and some Kelly greens and hot pinks um, and cobalt blues, so brighter colors. I'm going opposite direction here. We're going soft colors, pastels. I love pastels in the winter. I just love that. Um, you know, it's real gray outside and there's just something about those softer colors. And really that's more my color palette, those softer colors. Um, I, I can't go as icy as my daughter can. The icy colors, mine are a little warmer, um, not quite as pale, but still pastel stells. Um, but I love me in heathered gray. I love a pale gray. So the, yes, this one we're gonna be doing some baby pinks, baby blues, um, some softer greens, heather gray, camels. Um, yeah, for this one. But anyway, I'm gonna do the first version in this. And at Joann's, I was able to find some tubular um, rib knit. Tubular meaning it is literally knit in the round. I don't know if you can tell that, but it is like a big circle. Can you see? So it is meant to be cuffs and neck bands and hem bands. So I'm going to use this and they go really well together. I bought them together, especially because you've got the specks of the a little bit of the darker. They just, they marry real well together. So this is going to be the cuffs. Um, the neck band and the hem band. And I'm very excited about this sweatshirt. Wearing it with my new axle skirt, I love that. Um, I still need to get some uh, tennis shoes. Christmas money, <laughs> right? Um, but I, yeah, I'm real excited about that with some white jeans. Um, we're gonna go to Florida this winter to go visit my parents for a couple of days. And usually it, you do need a sweatshirt down there. So this would be a fantastic like layering piece. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about making a sweatshirt in this. And I think I might have enough. I think I just bought a yard and a half of this. I would assume, maybe two. I would be surprised if I bought two. Um, probably just bought a yard and a half, but I feel like it's a lot of fabric. I may have enough to even do something else with it. But yeah, it'll definitely be version one. Okay. Version three is just the split sleeve hem, high low, almost like a t-shirt. And I thought it might be kind of fun to go Ponty. I have this pale blue Ponty and I've got three yards of it. I have a lot, so I will definitely not use all of this. In fact, this also might become, I'm gonna do a Tilly in the buttons, I think later, later too. And this may be a Tilly pat pattern later, but um, I love the idea. I love this color on me um, of doing more of a structured, so since this is Ponty, it'll come up much structured than just like the t-shirt style that it is. And this one doesn't have any, uh, I don't even think it has a neckband. I think it's just 
that sleeve with the split hem, which I'm excited to try on myself, and then kind of a high-low hem, so almost like a almost like a t-shirt. Um, I think this will be great paired over skinny pants, um, tucked into things, tucked into like skirts, um, the dawn. Yeah, yeah, I'm just seeing this being a very versatile shirt. And again, I'm excited to play around with the structure. Now this is a rayon nylon, um, rayon nylon spandex ponty. <laughs> And so it does have a lot of weight to it and a lot of drape. So it will be thicker, but um, I find that this, I mean, even though it is thicker, it does drape nicely so it doesn't hang off my boobs too bad. So um, hopefully that'll still be the case with this. We'll play around with that. Okay. So those are the four versions. However, you know I can't leave well enough alone. And it may be that when I get into sewing this pattern that I love it so much that um, I make myself like the two versions that I'm making my daughter because sometimes I'm gonna have the pattern out. I just can't stop. <laughs> but I do want to mess around with this. So this, you know how I love a good upcycle. This is a quarter zip that is my husband was my husband's. It was super boxy and ill-fitting. I think they got it at the outlet. But see it's got the high like turtleneck here. Well it's a quarter zip. So I was thinking of making myself the view four, which is that kind of cropped, not too cropped we don't go too cropped, um, version with the turtleneck out of this. Because again, it's super boxy. It was my husband's. Um, and actually, it, it got like too short on him. So uh, I've got, I think this is going to be one of those that I'm like, oh my gosh, look at, you know, it's so big on me. But I think in the end, it's going to be a little bit of the side seams I'm taking in. And it's mostly just going to be messing around with the shoulders and sleeves. Um, Kind of like that Cali shirt that I did um, last month. But anyway, I love this color. I love, love, love purple. It's my favorite color. And I'm very excited about him gifting this to me. And I love the little orange polo guy there. Because this is a polo um, shirt. So, that's going to happen too. So those are my plans for the first of the Megan Nielsen patterns. And all of the patterns will be following kind of the same color story, per normal. Um... But yeah, I'm just going to kind of go one pattern at a time, and then at the end of all four patterns, then I can do just one gigantic, um, I mean, I'll do a lookbook at the end of each of these so you can kind of see what we've made, but then I can just do like a massive lookbook at the very end showing all four patterns kind of interchanged together in some of the combinations. Again, it would be one of those um, where it'd be way too many combinations to show you every combination, but definitely could show you um, a few of them. So. Those are the plans for the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys have a wonderful beginning to the new year, and I will see you soon. Bye.